Nobody wants you to build low-cost housing near their house. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. While comedian Dave Chappelle is not the reason for a lack of affordable housing in America, he is a huge reason for why there won't be affordable housing in his community of Yellow Springs, Ohio. So this is a story that has blown up. And while I don't think it's as important as the attention that it's getting, it's still worth discussing and showcasing why there is, at least partially why, there is a uh, this consistent push against affordable housing from those that otherwise you think would support affordable housing for people that need it. Now, before I get to this video of uh, Dave Chappelle at this town hall meeting, I want to show you, because it's, it's very clear what went on here. So you have, this is, you have a company in Yellow Springs that owns this land. They have two options here. They can go with the planned unit development, the PUD, or the c current zoning. So current zoning is single family only, starting at mid 300,000. Um, high income for sale, only high income uh, homes for sale. And that kind of gives you the, the breakdown there. Meanwhile, the PUD, what's being proposed or what was being proposed is you have multiple types of homes. So single family duplexes and townhomes starting at mid 200,000. Um, and you have a uh, uh, affordable type. So moderate income for sale, affordable type. So there's, there was a piece of this that had affordable housing. Now, not enough. Oftentimes, these kinds of companies include this to uh, help subsidize the other uh, the other homes they're building. So, you know, that's why companies do this. They don't do it because out of the goodness of their heart to, to you know, have affordable housing. It's for the incentives associated with having that affordable housing, with offering that. So it was being offered, again, not enough, but it was in this plan, the PUD plan. And this is exactly the plan that Dave Chappelle is against. So here he is. And again, one of these two are going through. So either you are for, you know, one, like the good one, or you are against it and you're for the other one. Here is Dave Chappelle speaking out against this plan, the plan that includes affordable housing. Hi, I'm Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I just want to say, and Marianne, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ix out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. Okay. All right. So that's very clear. There is Dave Chappelle threatening to pull his investments from the town if they don't do what he says. Well, they caved. So yes, Yellow Springs Village Council rejects the PUD. So they're going with the one that does not have the affordable housing. Now again, Dave Chappelle isn't the reason why there isn't enough affordable housing in America. He's not the reason. But he's an example of what happens in these town hall meetings where they constantly push back with the residents there in these more higher income areas push back against the opportunity for affordable housing. He's an example of that. Now, to break it down even clearer, here is a great tweet from Paul E. Williams. The optimal outcome is thousands of social housing units. What could have been is hundreds of apartments and duplexes, a park and free land for subsidized housing. What they will get is a bunch of half a million dollar single home, single family homes. Third option, clearly worst. So that is what went on here. Yes, what was offered by the company was not enough. There should be social housing units. But in spite of that, or, or not having that, they have these other um, potential uh, more inexpensive units and subsidized housing. But instead, they have the plan with just the wealthy single family homes. Now, there was disagreement on this from the residents. So most people supported Dave Chappelle's position, but others did not. So some reactions here. While the majority of speakers were opposed to the proposed development, several villagers spoke in favor of the PUD proposal. Elias uh, Jacobs said he supported the PUD because it included land set aside for affordable housing. Quote, in the absence of something better, we need to look seriously at what's on offer, Jacobs said. Sometimes a bird is in the hand uh, sometimes a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. 
His uh, sentiment was echoed by Eve Fleck, who lives near the development, and Patricia Brown, who owns a home in a PUD. Both Fleck and Brown said they believe the PUD was the better option. Quote, I live in a PUD now, Brown said. We have very expensive houses. We have home ink houses. Uh, we have medium houses. We have all getting along, and we all love each other. A community that has all of this stuff is much better than one that only has one part of it. Vote for the PUD, please. So... Some dissenting voices there, but they ultimately went with, I imagine they caving to Dave Chappelle's pressure there, pulling out, you know, $65 million from the community is a big deal. When you have that kind of wealth, that kind of power in a small community like this, you can essentially run the town. And that's what Dave Chappelle appears to uh, be doing. Now, their spokesperson, or his spokesperson came out to um, react to this saying, uh, neither Dave nor his neighbors are against affordable housing. However, they are against the poorly vetted, cookie-cutter, sprawl-style development deal, which has little regard for community, culture, and infrastructure of the village, which makes absolutely no sense considering they are going with the other deal. It's the same company. They're going with the other one. <laughs> like, one had affordable housing, the other one did it. To show you a meme to help to explain this, sometimes memes can be useful. Here again, Paul E. Williams shares this. Are y'all with the NIMBYs? The not in my backyards. This person replies, <laughs> Dave Chappelle's spokesperson, neither Dave nor his neighbors are against affordable housing. However, they are against the poorly vetted cookie cutter sprawl style development deal, which has little regard for community, culture, and infrastructure of the village. Yep, this is it. <laughs> so to make it even more clear, I have a little special gift for you here now. If this is copyrighted, then I'm sorry, people watching on YouTube later, you're not going to see this. I'll have to cut out of the video. But if not, here is George Carlin talking about this very thing. These people need houses, physical, tangible structures. But where are you going to put them? Where are you going to build them? Nobody wants you to build low cost housing near their house. People don't want it near them. We got something in this country. You've heard of it. It's called NIMBY, N-I-M-B-Y. Not in my backyard. People don't want any kind of social help located anywhere near them. You try to open up a halfway house, try to open up a rehab center for drugs or alcohol, try to build a little home for some retarded people who want to work their way into the community. People say, not in my backyard. People don't want anything near them, especially if it might help somebody else. Part of the great American spirit of generosity we're always told about. <laughs> Big, generous American nation. Ask an Indian about that. Ask an Indian how generous this country is. If you can find one, you gotta locate the Indian first. We've made him just a little difficult to find. Or if you need current data, select the black family at random and ask them how generous this country has been. People don't want anything near them, even if it's something they believe in. There you go. George Carlin, one of the greats. And if that was cut out in the separate segment on YouTube, I will link to the full video below so you can go watch this, uh, this piece here. But um, again, just to reiterate, Dave Chappelle is not the reason for a lack of affordable housing in America, but this does show you the attitude that often discourages these sorts of developments.